Sun used Java as a way to capture the mindset of programmers back in the early 90s, the mid 90s. Um, they made this, this uh, decision that the way you sell hardware, remember that Sun was a hardware company. They sold pieces of metal. Um, the way you sell metal most effectively is to win the hearts and minds of programmers. They discovered in the, in the mid-90s that it was programmers who actually decided what hardware got bought. We often underestimate our power, but we were the deciders even then. And so they thought, well, what better way to win the hearts and minds of programmers than to give them a language? And they hunted for a language that they could offer programmers. And at first they thought it would be C++, but then they realized they didn't own that as a monopoly and it didn't fit with the idea of the internet well. And then this guy who worked for them, his name was James Gosling, waved around this language that he had produced a few years back, which was called Oak, and should have been thrown in the trash. But Sun said, oh, hmm, that might be the language, and they promoted it out to the world as the language of the internet. That became Java. Microsoft said, oh, what a good idea. So they produced their own Java compiler. Does anybody remember Visual J++? Mm -hmm. right? And then Sun went to Microsoft and said, hey, you can't do that. And Microsoft said, oh, yeah, OK. And they changed a couple of keywords. It's the case of some, some function calls. And they called it C Sharp. And the two have, you know, two are virtually identical languages, because they were the same language. And then they've kind of divided ever since.